This weekend, Windsport COP welcomes the world's best freestyle mogul skiers. More than 100 athletes from 15 countries. They're challenging Team Canada, of course, in the men's and women's single moguls. Freestyle skier uh, Phil Marquis joining us this morning to talk about the upcoming event. And Phil, this weekend for you is going to be a big comeback. Absolutely, yeah. I'm quite eager to be here and start the 2019 year fresh. Uh, obviously, a lot of people know I've sustained a torn ACL just before the Olympic last uh, January. So it's actually today my, my one year anniversary. Oh, wow. And uh, planning to, yeah, come back this weekend during the Calgary World Cup. It's, uh, it's on Oim soil. It's a place I like. Um, Calgary is a sport town, too. It's, it's, it's awesome. So definitely invite a lot of people to come uh, check us out on Saturday. And uh, for me, yeah, hopefully crossing my finger, but the plan is to compete here and uh, do just a little farewell tour and finish uh, my career on a good note this season. Well, this weekend, you mentioned people coming out on Saturday to watch the uh, finals for the women and the men. Uh, if they do come out to win sport, what can they expect to see? Because you go fast and you're in the air, right? Absolutely. I mean, mogul skiing is an explosive uh, sport. Uh, it's always a fan favorite at the Olympics, and obviously we see on TV right now the king, Michael Kingsbury, yes. is going to be uh, he's going to be there, uh, aiming for. Uh, he won the first three events already this yes. year. He's on fire, and he's going to go for his I think 53 or 54. I'm, I'm the last in the count. Really, here. but the uh, win, yeah. So he's he's destroyed uh, this whole mogul <laughs> world. Like, you know, he's just setting the standard so high. Uh, he's going to be here. The, the team is here. There's been a lot of change, a couple of retirement after the Olympic. Lots of young guns, next generation is stepping up. Uh, a few of our guys and girls are going to be in the starting game for the first time at a World Cup. So a lot of cool stuff happening. I know it's going to be a warm weekend as well. Yeah. Uh, so it should be really excited. And after the early days, like, why not get outside and why not get some fresh air? It's just 20 minutes from downtown. Yeah, so. no kidding. And, and what makes it so explosive as a sport? Is it the bumps in negotiating the moguls or is it the aerial or is it both? Like what makes I think it it's so both, you know. I think it's because uh, you try to master the technique aspect of it, just skiing well in the bumps, which is already really hard it's to tough, do yeah. and then you you put some air some jumps some tricks into it as well and you try to do the whole thing as fast as you can so the complexity of the sport is 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 into those those all those aspects the global of it yeah and calgary it's a steep course it's the, it's a tough one it's a fun fun stop on the tour it's one of the the favorite one definitely one that canine and i've been loving for years yes. where we've been doing quite good so, uh, you know, I think it's, it's always exciting to, to, to be back here. And, and, yeah, for me, you know, it's the perfect spot to come back. Why not, right? Calgary, Calgary, Winsport COP. So uh, the qualifying and practice runs are on Friday. The finals are on Saturday. And then on Sunday, there's a big fan event where you get to meet some of the World Cup uh, freestyle mogul skiers in person and get some autographs and some high fives and maybe take some photographs and that type of thing. And Phil, best yeah. of luck. This weekend, we'll be rooting for you. And Thank best you. of luck in your comeback and your final Thanks season so as an much. athlete. Thank, Thank you so you. much for coming in and sharing that with us. We really Thanks appreciate that. Thanks for having that. me. Thanks for having me. This weekend,